Today I'm going to teach you a gorgeous PowerPoint infographic design and you won't believe how easily you can design it. First, let's check it out. As I mentioned earlier, today you'll learn how to design this stunning infographic with two unique animation styles. The template file includes multiple steps with two different layouts, including dark theme option and every element is fully animated for a professional finish. Before we dive in, let me introduce you to my latest Pitch Deck PowerPoint template. This is one of the most beautiful templates I have created, offering two modes, one with animations and one without. It features over 130 slides, including mockups, maps, and infographics perfect for any presentation. You can find the download link for all my templates in the description below. Now let's dive in and start the tutorial. Let's start by drawing this shape. Set its height to 5 and width to 4.65. Drag this yellow dot and adjust it like this. Hold the control key down and duplicate it. Now draw a rounded rectangle and set its height to 0 0.7 and width to 2 inches. Drag this yellow dot to make it fully rounded and adjust it like this. Now select both of them and then go to the shape format tab and in the match shape section choose intersect. Right click on this shape and choose format shape. In this window, add a drop shadow in this direction to it. Set the blur amount to 25 and distance to 12. Let's remove its outline and by using the eyedropper tool, choose the background color for it. But we have a problem. I want to see the shadow only from this side, not the other sides. What should I do? To solve this problem, you need to decrease the size of the shadow. Decrease it as much as you see the shadow on this side of the shape. I think 67 is good. Now we have to increase the distance to see the shadow in the correct direction. It seems 95 is good. For this shape, add a drop shadow in this direction. Set the blur amount to 25 and distance to 12. Let's remove its outline as well. Let me align this shape to the middle and drag this one to this position. Now draw a small triangle. Its size is not important, but you need to hold the shift key down to draw a perfect triangle. Rotate it and drag it to this area. Let me remove its outline. Zoom in and use the arrow keys to adjust it precisely. Now send it back. Perfect. Let's add an icon from Insert tab. Click on the icons and choose any icon which suits your presentation. And then insert it. Decrease its size and put it in this position. Now add some text boxes and type your information. For the number, I'm going to use the objective font style. You can download it in the description. Make it bold and set its size to 166. Drag it to this position and send it back. Let's open the format shape window and add a gradient fill to this shape. Remove these two spots, and for this spot, choose this white color. For the other spot, we are going to use this color code. So open the More Colors window and type the code here. Let's increase the angle value to 160 degrees. Let me tell you a tip. Right now, the information of this gradient is saved in the memory of PowerPoint. 
It means if I select this shape and add a gradient fill to it, PowerPoint will apply that gradient to this shape as well. We can use this technique for the numbers. Select the number, go to the text option tab and add gradient fill to it. Okay, the first part is ready. Press Ctrl A to select all the shapes and then by pressing Ctrl G, group them. Now hold the Ctrl and Shift keys down and make a copy of the group. Why we are holding the Shift key down? Because we want a copy on a straight line. Anyway, let's change the number and title. To change the icon, select it inside the group. Go to the Graphic Format tab and in the Change Graphics section, choose from icons. Okay, let's change the gradient color. Select this spot and change its color to black. Repeat this for the other parts. But keep in mind, for the number, you should go to the Text Option tab. Alright, select both groups and make a copy of them. Let's change each group's information. Now select all of them and choose distribute horizontally from the Align menu. It is time to animate them. For the animation, select all the groups, but keep in mind the order of selection is important. Now add fly-in animation to them. Change the animation's direction to from left. Set a start with previous with 2 seconds duration for them. Now open the properties window and drag a smooth end to the end. Ok, let's see a preview. Perfect. You know, don't restrict yourself to my examples. You can animate this with so many different methods. For example, Let's change the animation's behavior. Open the animation pane and select all the animations. Now change the direction to from right. We have to add a delay for each animation. As I mentioned, the order of selection was important. For this group, add 0.5 seconds delay. For the next animation, add 1 second delay. And for the last group, add 1.5 seconds delay. Your PowerPoint is ready. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like the video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Alright, I'll see you next video.